Hey guys, Flo here bringing you the third episode of this uh, West Ham career mode series. We're gonna have a match against Burnmouth next. Uh, you can see in the news Antonio making progress for us. Uh, he is developing uh, pretty nicely on that right side. Remember he's originally a left mid but I am playing him on the right side just because of his uh, his pace and just because on the left side is Moses and you can't really substitute Moses at the time. Looking at some results, uh, Arsenal winning against Spurs and Sunderland. Only two fixtures uh, have passed but they have two wins from two games and they're currently in the first, uh, first position. Yeah, so anyway, let's move on to the match, uh, the third fixture of the Premier League against Birdmouth. We're playing at home and we hope to get uh, the first win of the season. Birdmouth, if we can't take three points for them, then uh, how are we going to make points in the Premier League? No disrespect to them, but uh, we should be winning against uh, this sort of teams. Uh, our fans are ready. Uh, we'll see if I was ready. Uh, to play against them uh, we're 10 minutes in and uh, it's a good thing that we have the ball that means we're gonna have the first chance Valencia gets fouled and this is something that doesn't really happen I decide to play it quick and you know usually you don't really get an advantage for playing it quick but I do I get a penalty and Zarate is gonna score it of course the goalkeeper I'm sure if it, if it was real life and the goalkeeper was and wouldn't have dived, I'm sure he would have at least put an arm out to keep that ball up. I'll take it. It's 1-0 for us. This uh, means they're going to change their tactics and they're going to attack with Atsu. But Adrian it's one of my best players. It's probably the best at the moment. Saving quite a few shots like this one for example and uh, for whatever reason I didn't I didn't follow up to that ball and they get another shot but then again the goalkeeper is uh, quite on form for us. Yes we're gonna have a chance here shockingly I was about to say that they're gonna have another chance but they don't we have a chance here with Valencia on the left side he sees there the sprint from Zarate and Zarate will score his he won't score his second goal uh, of the game because uh, the goalkeeper makes a brilliant save Antonio Oof, that was a big chance for us but it was offside Valencia uh, our other striker doing uh, what he does best working the goalkeeper but it wasn't it wasn't enough another chance here for uh, Burnmouth but hitting the post right before half time and uh, it will remain one one nil at half time and uh, yeah I'm happy with that even though they did have quite a few shots uh, we are in front and this is what matters something very similar to our first goal they played quick here but come on look at this they play quick but Song for whatever reason decides to just give them the ball and from two headers the goal is beautiful uh, I'll, I'll give them that but man they have another chance here all of them they did have quite a few shots but none of them really dangerous except that uh, crossbar from the first half we get another chance here Zarate finally sees their uh, Valencia and let's see what uh, He's gonna do, he's gonna work Federici pretty well, but that's a beautiful save and it, re it remains 1-1. One, one. Another shot by them, but again, Adrian cannot be beaten with these kinds of shots. But usually when a player of mine does uh, so well, he is gonna make a mistake like this. It's 2-1 for the away team. Moses there passes the ball to Lanzini who's gonna set up Valencia, he decides to pass the ball to Zarate who cannot score his second goal of the game. They clear it away and not very far, Coyote passing the ball there to Antonio with the heel, he finds there Jenkinson and beautiful there, 
by Zerati to score his second goal and more importantly giving us a chance to win this game. Very beautiful diving header there by Zerati but a very good cross by Jenkinson as well. Sermon now passing the ball yet again. A big chance now, this is a bigger chance. Uh, now Antonio getting the ball yet again. A bit of luck here, passes the ball to Zerati who is gonna score his hat trick of the match. He did have quite a few chances, missed a few but at the end of the day he did score 3 goals, I'm happy with that, 3-2 for us. But they do have another chance here in the 80th minute, come on Adrian that wasn't that hard to save but uh, he did it in a spectacular way, at least he didn't go over the line, I'm happy with that, 3-2 and uh, we have another chance here, Noble hitting the ball but Federici managing to pull up another brilliant save but it will finish with our victory 3-2 I'm happy with that let's go to some more news and see how the table looks in the Premier League so Sunderland remaining in the first spot Arsenal with the same amount of points West Brom and Everton sharing that first spot and after them Manchester United and Aston Villa at the bottom of the table we find Stoke City, Swansea and uh, Crystal Palace Zarate being the top scorer at the moment with uh, four goals of course because of that uh, fantastic uh, hat-trick against Bournemouth if you're wondering where uh, our team is uh, we're currently in the ninth spot which uh, isn't bad by any means but uh, obviously I want to see our team at least on the table you see on the screen not at the relegation zone but in the first six teams uh, we're gonna have a match against Liverpool in the Premier League but before we're gonna see that match away on Anfield we're gonna start the League Cup which has a shockingly low prize money awards I didn't know that the League Cup uh, was so cheap but uh, we do play uh, Scandhorp United, I, I'm not sure if that's the way to say it but I'll go with that or well, if anything I'm gonna say the home team from now on I'm digging their uh, their badge, it's brilliant take a look of our team here, we're playing the second team none of our uh, first team players here and uh, you will see this uh, won't make a big difference although we will have some problems with, uh, with this team we do get a first chance only in the 29th minute with Carroll here crossing the ball, finding Sako who scores the first goal. That was the first chance of the whole game in this Capital One match. And uh, it, I was happy that we scored in the first chance we created, but it was 29 minutes in. I couldn't break them uh, at all. But uh, that goal kind of opened the game up. We have another chance here. In the 39th minute, Sako close to scoring his second goal, but uh, very close, not close enough. You see here, they have a chance across, and Randolph, my second goalkeeper, manages to save this one in the second half. Yet again, from that corner kick, they have a big chance here, Dawson passing to Williams, but yet again, Randolph managing to pull out the save and Collins to clear it a free kick here which wasn't a big chance but I thought it was big enough to show it into these uh, highlights we do get a free kick 64 minutes in and O'Brien is gonna play this quick Kuyate, Sako there managing to uh, mess up with the goalkeeper and Carroll scoring a beautiful bicycle kick on an open goal it's 2-0 for West Ham and uh, there's no reason for us to lose this one O'Brien now O'Brien passing the ball there for Lanzini 3-0 game over they do get here a last chance in the 90th minute a huge chance if you ask me but it was a bit too late hitting the pose there Henderson winning 3-0 with the second team I'm very happy with that hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, like if you did subscribe share and all that crap I will see you next time